Welcome to I Found This Great Book. My name is Curtis, and today, featuring a different author from my directory of Black Mystery Authors, and today we're going to talk about Jake Lamar. Now, Jake Lamar has several books out, but we're going to talk about three books he has written, which are mysteries. The first book, If Six Were Nine, A Militant Mystery, and also we're going to talk about his two books in his American Mystery in Paris series, Rendezvous is 18 and Ghost of St. Michael. Now, his American Mysteries in Paris series are really interesting. Each story is a standalone mystery that centers an African-American who lives in France, who lives in Paris who is pulled into a situation and explores how they navigate and survive the events. So it's really interesting for fans of true amateur salute mysteries, especially if you want something that's set in Paris. So let's read the blurb for If Six Were Nine, A Militant Mystery. In the wee hours of the morning, a phone call awakens Clay Robinette, once a disgraced reporter, now a happily married, happily tenured black professor. The caller is Reggie Brogus, a famous black militant who, after a mysterious seven-year exile, remade himself as a fire-breathing conservative professor. There's a dead body in Reggie's office and he's sure it's the work of government agents looking to frame him for his radical past. And he needs Clay's help and trusts Clay's wry sense of humor and famous cool head to get him out of trouble. But Clay, dragged out of his bed into the winter night, recognizes the victim, Jennifer Wolfsheen, a.k.a. Pirate Jenny. Clay's student and, for a brief time, his mistress. Knowing he too could be implicated in Jenny's death, Clay tries to cover up his knowledge of the murder. He gives Reggie a ride out of town, goes home, gets back into his bed as though the whole episode were a nightmare. But when he wakes up in the morning, his life slowly begins to fall apart. Dragged into the investigation in spite of himself, Clay knows he must unmask the killer before he becomes the prime suspect. So, is Reggie guilty after all? Is the murderer indeed linked to the FBI and a long-ago counterintelligence operation? Or is the killer someone with a sterling reputation and a hidden sadistic streak? All right, so let's look at the first book in the American Mysteries in Paris series, Rendezvous 18. Ricky Jinks gave up life in the U.S. years ago and is content, if not happy, with his life as a piano player in a small cafe in the Montmartre neighborhood of Paris. He has many friends among the other African Americans living in Paris and is happily, if casually, involved with a French Muslim woman. But then everything changes. His American life comes crashing down on him when his estranged cousin wants help finding his runaway wife, whom he thinks might have come to Paris, even though he's vague about why. And that same night, Ricky finds a prostitute dead in his apartment building in Paris's 18th arrondissement, one of the most multicultural sections of Paris. That these two events could be connected is something he never imagines. The second book in the American Mysteries in Paris series, Ghost of St. Michael's. Marva Dobbs has a life most people would envy. An American who has lived in Paris for most of her adult life, she runs a popular African-American soul food restaurant 
and her 30-year marriage has produced a beautiful grown-up daughter. So why is she jeopardizing everything for a fling with her sous chef, a mysterious 28-year-old Algerian man named Hassan? Marva begins to ask herself the same question when she returns from summer vacation to find that Hassan is missing and that he is the main suspect in the investigation into the bombing of a building in Paris that left one man dead. And then she disappears, leaving her bewildered daughter and secretive husband to put the pieces of the puzzle together again. Wow. So especially the Mysteries in Paris series sound real interesting. And, you know, it's kind of neat. You got uh, black characters centered in Paris. And so I'm sure you're going to get a little bit of the life of being in Paris and being a black person navigating your way there. Also in there. Plus, it seems like you're going to get some uh, interesting twists and turns in the mysteries. So. Definitely, you want to check out Jake Lamar. Just go to IFoundThisGreatBook.com slash 140. That takes you to his page in my directory, and all of the books mentioned are there. You have links there where you can purchase them from multiple places, depending upon where you like to shop for your books. So definitely someone to check out if you're looking for mysteries where you have amateur sleuth, where you have normal people who get pulled into extraordinary situations and they suddenly have to find the solution to a mystery. And if you like to have a mystery centered in Paris, you may want to check them out. Jake Lamar. Well, until next time. When we feature another author from the Black Mystery Author Directory, stay safe and have a great reading day.